Hey folks and welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. So last episode uh, we started on Factory Tech and that's exactly what we're going to continue doing today. Um, so in order to do that we've got some basic stuff that we have to do. Um, as far as I've been able to tell with Factory Tech looking a little more into it it's kind of like Factorio in Minecraft, in that you create a machine that sends objects to another machine to create more machines, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's kind of what we want to get at. Uh, right, so our first machine then would be a machine which creates gears. I imagine. Do we have something like that? Making quartz plates, making wires and drills, auto crafting, making dust. Maybe if I just look at this myself. Um, factory. Filtered stack movers. Do we have anything in here that is like a gear maker because I think this was a where is it grindstone is like a a blade maker right actually hang on gear basic gear oh no basic gear metal cutter okay and to make a metal cutter we need a nickel cutting blade a basic motor, two nickel, two stone, and two iron. I will be back once I have that. All right, metal cutting machine. So this, oh, that was part of wires and drills. Um, probably should have been called gears and wires or something. Because <laughs> uh, I thought I was kind of circumventing the system here a bit. Okay, so you then I suppose you. No, that's not right. Um, someone in the comments, and again, I'll try and put it, edit it into the show if I remember to do it, which hopefully I will. And it told me I should make a monkey wrench. Because apparently I had the right idea with that ejector, it's just, um, it kept facing the wrong direction. So we want to make a monkey wrench and make it face the right direction. So that was three planks and two iron. There it is. Monkey wrench. So I think I have everything I need on me. I hope it gave me that gear back when I broke the machine in the first place. Although I don't think I did it. I think it consumes it as it needs it. There we go. So if we did that, and then we got the rollers, right? Yeah, that is how I want to do things. And then we want an insertion hatch here. And a pulse piston here. I need to turn you around as well. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to need the roller yet. Because I think this this needs uh, gears and knives in order to run. So it can make um, its own gears, which is what this is. So the roller will continue here. But gears are going to be pushed off into that in order to feed it itself. Um, I'm wondering though because eventually that's going to back stuff right and this is just going to keep pushing things off. Uh, I suppose that's the good thing about Factorio is once a belt is full then um, a system won't try and push things anymore whereas in Minecraft things can stack infinitely. So I need to make another nickel blade apparently. Um, means I need to get a grindstone up and running, which means I need to make another uh, gear the old way. 
with a piece of stone. And by the old way, I mean the expensive way. There we go. And I should have some spare nickel in here. I do. And more on the way. Nickel takes ages to make. I really need to get that condenser to be upgraded to uh, in stone, I think. Um, so, we put a gear in here. Which will allow us to turn that into a blade. Which gives us the blade for this. And then I also need... Um... Another handcrafted gear for the gear maker or the metal cutter, rather, because this metal cutter is going to be dedicated to making that. So, if I put that in there, that should turn that into a gear. Uh, I mean, the pulse piston worked but okay maybe I need to stick a block there or something not an entire fan lift no definitely not but I do have access to cobble so <laughs> why not it also didn't get picked up so that's another problem We'll do that and make sure that it goes on the rollers this time. That, yep, gets pushed into there. Doesn't get picked up yet. So we stick our own other roller here. So let's simulate you making basic gears. I said simulate you making basic gears. In they go. That's a saw blade, me. <laughs> other basic gear, please. Thank you. All right, so that is confirmed to work, but that puts that in there. What? Okay, so these are sided. They've got to be sided, right? Um, so things in the side of this go into the construction slot. Things in the top go into the construction slot. Uh, things in the back. Go in the construction slot. Maybe we'll have to lift things up. Okay, brain. I, I just need more cobble on me right now. I will make this prettier cobble in the future. And by prettier cobble, I mean I'll probably shift this up if that's what's required. Or not, depending. So that is on the bottom now. And that goes in the gear slot. Awesome. Okay. Which means that you need to come up here. And be monkey wrenched in the right direction. Uh, which means that you will need to be... Well, what am I doing? Be up there. And I suppose the rollers can stay down there, right? Um, oh dear, okay. Yeah, that's just a little fast sometimes. <laughs> Goodbye roller, I knew thee well. So if we can do it that way, we it means we can actually make this smaller. Ooh, can't back over that very well. Pulse piston. Factorio in 3D, basically. Co cobblestone. So I now need to make a new cutting blade, unfortunately. Because uh, they don't drop their tools if you break them. I don't know whether I'm going to need nickel for anything else, but just in case. We won't turn those all into blades. Okay. So, this should shoot out a gear, which goes immediately into there. What do you do with more gears? 
you stack them, you will stack them. And that's fine. I mean, if you end up with a stack of 64 gears, that's fine with me. We're going to need a lot of iron, but we can make a lot of iron, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but I would like to know what will happen if you are full. So, I guess I make 64 gears and see you in a bit. Turns out the gears actually stack to four, and I think I already knew that um, from the reservoir we tried building, uh, because that had its um, sheets stacked to four. I guess that's a universal truth in this mod. So I have a bunch of extra gears now, um, and that stacks to four. The unfortunate issue is, if I put four here, and four here, and another three there, you can see it does the Minecraft thing where entities are just going to forever stack up. So there needs to be a thing where this pulse piston turns off if you have four gears. But I don't know how to detect that other than a comparator. But which slot is the comparator going to look at? Because I would also need to do that for, for blades. Right? Um, so it's a bit of a doozy. I could do it if I had access to, um, uh, okay, brain. Don't forget the name of the mod now. Um, dynamic, d dynamic something, dynamic, integrated dynamics. Do I actually have access to you? If I did, I don't have access to the cables. Yeah. I just have access to these, if anything. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we couldn't use that even if we wanted to. But, I, I mean, I could do that with dynamic, integrated dynamics, but I can't do that with just gears. Ah! It wants to be Factorio so bad, but it can't. It can't with its rollers working like that. Um. Oh man. What to do? Is there some sort of like thing here that I could possibly do? Compression chamber, extraction pump, grindstone, centrifuge, metallic. Okay. I'm gonna try a thing. I don't know whether this will work. Uh, because it probably needs specifically the back to face it, and I went straight past it. There we go. That. You make another gear. That popped out the top. Ah, oh, okay, because the gear there broke. All right. Well, what do I do with broken gears anyway? I can smelt him. I can smelt him. I can smelt him, and I can smelt him. All right. Hmm. Limiting the gear construction is the only thing I can is is a major stopping point. I'm not sure how to do it. At, at this phase, I am not sure how to do it. Um, I think that roller is still there, actually. Yep. <laughs> I was getting stuck on that tile. So I think what we do is we forget all this stuff. And uh, we have these machines lined up next to each other. Because if we can't limit the amount that things are going to make, um, an output and that sort of thing. There's just kind of like no point. So we're going to put you there, which means we're going to make this. And we're going to put you in there. And we're also going to put you in there. And we may as well stack these up. And, uh, 
we'll get a electric furnace up here to smelt um, unwanted ones or just a furnace probably uh, unwanted I mean broken <laughs> right moving along then uh, maybe you guys know what I'm missing but that seems kind of like a massive dead end to me and also seems like it kind of um, cheats the mod out of its own um, gimmick standard wire and drill bit drill bit uh blunt drill bit nickel ingot in a metal cutter and that will give me a drill bit which i then put in a grindstone okay see that could be a nice back and forth that sort of thing but again without any sort of like stack limiting or it in world stack limiting um it seems kind of a bit dead endish uh standard wire standard copper makes sense in a metal cutter be right back okay standard wire that lets us finish this detect please thank you and I will claim the middle one. Incense. Incense stick. Get out of here. I'm not even looking at what things do anymore. Compact auto crafting and making quartz plates. I'm kind of putting this one off because I can't, still can't easily get a hold of quartz. Um, or rather it's easy, it's just time consuming. Um, what the heck? Chop saw. Chop saw. Right. Saw blade. Iron ingot. Basic gear. Basic motor. A couple of stone. A couple of wood. I shall return. I don't want to make quartz plates. Dang it. <laughs> it wants me to make quartz plates though. All right, and then you require that saw that we made last episode, wherever it has vanished to. Oh, I used it to make this. Of course I did. So to make a saw blade is a basic gear in a grindstone. Give to me saw blade. Good. Saw blade, basic gear, and I'll give you both for now. Right, so you are functional now, and the next step is to make a blank quartz plate. Which blank quartz is a shorted circuit board, or <laughs> see, block of quartz, block of quartz, damn you, um, block of quartz in a metal saw. Did I say in a metal saw? I mean in a chop saw. At least it has nice animations. So now we have those. Reward me please. Please. Thank you. Top one this time. What useless thing do we get this time? A solarander. I'm actually going to keep that one because I am confused. <laughs> okay, mechanical smelting, electric furnace. Mm. Five nickel, two standard wires, a heating element, which is copper nickel alloy. I can make copper nickel now. That seems like not a real thing that I can do because I'm fairly sure that I can't make alloys yet. Um, I 
copper nickel mixture. I can make you, okay, pulverized nickel and three copper dust. I can actually do that. Be right back. Turns out it was a good thing that I made that double crusher after all, because uh, now I can actually make dusts for this recipe. Okay, so the electric furnace required heating element, which was three of those, which I'm going to get. Two redstone. Five nickel, which I've still got. Standard wire and a normal furnace. Give me those. For nice. Three of you. That gets me that, which I can then put into one of these. Does any of these have? There we go. You have some fuel. Make me my copper nickel while I go get some redstone. Okay. So, heating element. Great. What's the bit that this is actually going to take a heating element as one of its objects? Actually, that's an unfair bet because that's definitely what's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> Which means I need to make more of that copper nickel stuff um, to get that up and running. And I will do so. Be right back. Okay, heating element. Right, so that's the electric furnace now running. Um, so the bottom reward chest this time. Four lime glow panels. Goodbye. That's why I think of that reward. Uh, making magnets and making dusts. So... Uh, making magnets. Sure. Magnetizer. Magnetizer. Advanced motor. St okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I need to make some more copper. I shall return once I have made this beast. Magnetizer. It took ages. <laughs> I had to make a whole bunch of alchemical copper, which you can hear tinking away. And it needs an advanced motor and a wire. That, see, without being able to automate those effectively, that's going to get real old real fast. Um... Yeesh. Alright. That's plugging away. I'm gonna get some sleep. Okay. Advanced motor get. So let's take that. Repurpose you. And now that's functional. Even has an advanced motor just sitting there out in the middle of nowhere floating like some sort of magical device. Next. We want a standard magnet. Standard magnet. Just a piece of iron in the magnetizer. My cat is making a heck of a noise right now and is totally distracting me. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear him. So in goes that. Is that? See that it needs an AC current? Because I, it turns out, given constantly repeating redstone signal. Okay, well we have a use for that timer we made all that time ago. Alright, so this thing is now magnetizing. Do we have our standard magnet? There we go. <laughs> Middle. You gave me a chance cube. You know what? No, I'm not even going to deal with that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I am so not in the mood for chance cubes. So a drill grinder probably uses that drill we made. Drill grinder. Yes, it does. N and N and N. Advanced motor. There we go. Got there eventually. 
Uh, copper. Now we have a drill grinder. So this baby will allow us to what? What will you allow us to do? Top one, please. That just gave me a bunch of trolley things. Okay. You know what? I'm only doing these quests because I want to know what kind of order factory tech goes into, but boy oh boy. Would I want to skip these if this is the kind of thing we're looking at. Maybe I should just leave them blue and flashing in the quest log. Drill grinder. I wonder what you even make. Dusts, apparently, but... Mechanically melting, making circuits, and separating gravel. Well, I think I'll leave those to next episode. I may even um, do some off-camera and see where we can get. But yeah, if you guys can get me any real good advice with factory tech and how to limit uh, bunching in the real world, in the outside world of like items stacking on top of each other like that, I'd really like to know because otherwise I don't see how you're meant to use these in series in an automated way um, without just losing resources constantly to respawn timers or at the very least lagging up your world because maybe they stay there infinitely on a roller and never re despawn in which case you'll have thousands of entities just rotting away eventually. <laughs> So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.